Have you ever wanted to record yourself at a distance but still want great audio? Then you need to get yourself a wireless microphone. Now, there are plenty of microphones on the market, but before you go and buy anything else, you need to check out this new release from Hollyland. So this is the new Hollyland Lark M2 wireless mic kit, and I've been told they've actually got one of the smallest transmitters on the market. Now for me, this is a big deal because when I use a wireless mic kit, such as the DJI, and you put the transmitter on the collar, then the collar starts sagging. So then you end up running a lapel mic. The whole thing's a bit of a faff, to be honest. So hopefully this can eliminate that problem. Let's open it and find out. In the box, the first thing you get is, I'm guessing some sort of paperwork, instruction manuals, etc. So we'll open that in a minute. Then you get the charging case itself. And in the charging case, you get two transmitters and a receiver. And just look at the size of that. That is tiny. It's like the size of a pound coin. I'm actually going to get a pound coin and check. Should have one somewhere. Bear with me. Right, I'm back with a pound coin. So we've got, actually, if I put it in front, there's the pound coin. That's crazy. Wow, very impressed with that. So before we get too deep into that, Let's see what else we got in the box. So you also get two receivers for your phone. So you get a lightning and a USB-C. And as you can see, nice and small, shouldn't be an issue having them on the bottom of your phone. I've seen some God awful designs. So yeah, can't complain with that. And then last but not least, you'll also get your bag to carry your charging case and all your accessories. So let's see what we get in here. Ah, yes, yeah, so you get your lanyard get one of these so with it being magnetic you could always so I imagine this would be pretty handy if you were working on a shoot where I know there was women with dresses on or strapless tops and you could just pop a lanyard over the top that's cool I've not seen that before you also get your clip so you get your standard clip but you also get a magnet version as well I think I would prefer to use the magnet to keep it nice and slim and indiscreet. We also get some wind muffs, dead cats, I always struggle with what you call those. Charging cable, we get USB-C which is always good, it's nice to see everyone moving over to USB-C these days. An audio cable, 3.5mm either side and then the bag itself, very similar to another brand but can't complain, seems like great quality and there's two sides to it so it should keep everything in there nice and organized so quick look at the case itself you'll get a charging indicator on the front USB-C slot on the back and that is pretty much all there is to it nice design no complaints there so if we have a quick look at the receiver so on there you have a volume control knob which you can switch between low medium and high Then on the side, you'll have your mode button, your power button, and then a charging point. On the top there, you can see which transmitter is connected. At the moment, we have both, so you get solid blue light. On the side, you have an audio jack. There's your charging pins when it goes into the case. And on the back there, you get a clip, which is also good for just slotting straight into a cold tube mount. Then on the transmitter, there isn't much going on here. You can just see your microphone on the top. You have a magnetic attachment on the back there. You'll have your ENC button, your environmental noise cancellation button, which is built in, really handy to have. You have your charging pins on the back, and that is all there is to it. Now, just for reference, the DJI mic and the Hollyland one. And you can see there, it's less than half the size. And that is pretty impressive because the DJI one isn't exactly bulky in the first place. And as you can see, I've now hooked up both microphones on my collar, and this is the reason I don't like using them without a lapel mic. However, the Hollyland one, it really doesn't do much. I'm pretty impressed with that. So we'll do a quick audio test. So this is the audio coming from the Hollyland microphone, and this is the audio coming from the DJI microphone. 
So one of the first improvements is on the M2, we now have 24-bit audio, whereas on the M1, we only had 16-bit. So it gives you a lot more flexibility when it comes to post-processing. The second improvement is the range. So on the M1, we only had 200 meters, whereas on the M2, Hollyline claim we can get up to 300 meters distance. We're gonna put that to the test in just a moment. The third improvement for me would be the battery life. So on the M1, we had eight hours, whereas Hollyland claim we can get 10 hours on this without noise cancellation turned on. But for me, the biggest improvement over everything else is the size of it. And it's why I would recommend it to most people. So it only weighs nine grams. And when you've got this on your collar, I genuinely can't feel it. Whereas the DJI one, you know it's there and you can see it's there as well because it pulls down on the clothing and it's something that really irritates me. So I'm now gonna head outside and see how well these Hollyland mics hold up over distance and see how close we can get to that claimed 300 meters. So it's time to just do a quick distance test. Now Hollyland claim this new version can do around 300 meters. I'd say we've probably got about 200 meters here. We're gonna just go for a walk and see if it cuts out. Right, so I'm now at 50 meters from the camera. Don't know if you can still see me or how clear it is, but hopefully the audio is still working. And let's carry on. So we're now at 100 meters. I'm gonna get a quick thumbs up off my cameraman. Yeah, audio is still working. That's pretty impressive. And yeah, let's keep going. Okay, so this is 150 meters. Now, if this is still working, it's actually insane. Yeah, got a thumbs up. That's crazy. Uh, let's keep going. So that's 200 meters. Now, if that is working, wow. Okay, we've got a thumbs up. Audio's good. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Let's see if we can get it to cut out. Okay, so I can't really go much further than this. I've checked my phone and we're at just over 240 meters. I don't know why you would ever need this because I can just about see my camera in the distance, but um, thumbs up if it's still working. Yeah, I've got, I've got the all clear, audio's working. Yeah, don't know why you would need this, but well done, Holly Land, a great job. So we're back in the studio now, and I have to say, I am very impressed with this new release from Holly Land. Now, admittedly, I didn't get to the 300 meter mark. I got to around 200 before we started having issues. You know, there'd be some breakouts or a bit of interference. But with all that being said, I can confirm that they will hold a strong connection over a good amount of distance, and they are reliable. And for something so portable and compact, I don't think you can need much more than that. So if you're in the market for a new wireless mic kit and you're on a bit of a budget or you don't fancy spending £300 on the DJI alternative, then I can highly recommend the Hollyland Lark M2s. I'll make sure I leave a link in the description. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and I'll see you on the next one.